Well, welcome everybody. How's your mom doing so far? Love your pants. Thank you. I hear that a lot. I love your pants. Congrats to uh, Tony Ambrose, who uh, is nice Padre Island. He's actually at this con. And uh, yeah, he said, dude, I'm going to see you at a con in a couple months. What size do you wear? What do you want on it? Dudes. <laughs> yeah, but which dudes? You do a lot of dudes. <laughs> My main ones. <laughs> so he put all of them except reuse. Now he's going to make me reuse pants. He's still working on it. We're going to do this weekend to update my old pants. You're going to update them? He's going to update like, give them back to him and then he's yeah, going to add them to him? Old nasty pants. He's going to paint on them and I'm going to have them back. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, updating for sure. You can put <laughs> reuse in here. They're not that bad. Actually, they, they hold up really well. You just inside out. Yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah, the sure. fabric paint holds up really well. But yeah. <laughs> I and then, then I went nuts and bought Kiss bands, and they <laughs> they matched the shoes. I was like, who do you voice? Gene Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it just makes it easier. It's like, who do you voice? Read my hands. <laughs> but it's cool. So let's start over. Who are we? I'm Kyle. Who are you? I'm Wendy. We do this professionally, and sometimes we get paid for it. <laughs> On occasion, we actually yeah, get the check and woo! Uh, we're not rich. Let's just blow that myth out of the water. Yeah, we are. Oh, okay. That's why we had other people buy us pants. Oh, that's, that's right. We, we could just go to the Goodwill and we just say, hey, can you make us some? And they do. It's great. Sure. Now, so anyway, this uh, have you guys been to this panel anywhere else before? Oh, guys... cool, we have all newbies. Newbies, newbies. Great. New... <laughs> and then one repeat. Oh, yeah. okay. one if you saw this at Akon, it's the exact same panel, so if you get up and leave, I don't blame you. <laughs> it's the same <laughs> stuff. But it's different people trying out. That's the fun of it all. Mm -hmm. So this is sort of like, but not really like American Idol, in that we don't have Simon and Paula and all that That's going what on. You think. Well, <laughs> but we do have Wendy Powell, <laughs> and, and Wendy has a very, very strong background in theater, and she can definitely uh, speak to the we acting some, genes. Didn't we have some really good people? We last did. Year? We had some really great readers and people that came up with excellent performances. So. Yeah. Really, really have that that potential and, and everything. It's it's hard enough to get your foot in the door to get that audition, but once you get that audition, you have that small little five minute window to make this first impression that you're not just a fan, you're actually a professional. You're someone who takes your craft seriously, and that's what this is about. This is explaining, this is why this is called anime auditions, semicolon, the process. So people don't get confused and think it's actual auditions. Yeah, someone hiring. just asked about, what are we auditioning for? I'm like, nothing! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world! <laughs> I love that shit. But, I mean, the, I made these myself because I asked the guys at the studio, I said, can I just use the audition scripts? And he said, I would, but Viz would freak out. It's like, okay. It's like, but you could take a Naruto script and just make one yourself. Like, okay! So, they cops. He actually did all the work on this part. Thank you, Wikipedia. <laughs> so, I went to Wikipedia because your typical, I don't know you guys can't see this really well, but maybe. You can see that there's a picture on there, right? Yeah. There's the name of the character, Naruto Uzumaki, age 12. There's his picture. Life, the character's in color. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I'm just saying that makes a difference because sometimes yeah. a vocal choice that you might make may be different based on hair color or, or background or whatever. Yeah. You know, you may make a difference at that point. So you would see it actually in color. Yeah. Right. At least in Funimation. <laughs> no, you There's see it in color where you're at, right? No. California doesn't even let you see it in color? Well. Damn those cows. <laughs> yeah. Physically, because they're just busy making so many copies for the, all the actors coming in that they just. Really, y'all have a book. Well, there may be there may be a master book with the color copy. They don't give it to you. Oh no. Okay. Sorry, I interrupted. Go ahead. No, that. Uh, yeah. So the picture. 
And then underneath the picture, basically, there's a description of the character. So you know how to make a, a choice. Pre pretend that you don't know what Naruto is, and fans have been cosplaying it since 2002. And, my god, will you please dress up as something else? <laughs> so um, it's like, who's Naruto? Oh, he's a... He lives in the village of Kunai, he has ambitions of becoming Hokage, or leader of the village, and da 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 He's ostracized by the other villagers, he compensates with a cheerful and boisterous personality. Okay, that's cool, alright, that tells you a little bit about him. Okay, he's age 12, so he's not gonna sound like this. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> if you guys have noticed, in Japanese and in English, they cast a female. Um, because there are females in this world that can sound like little boys. <laughs> and once in a while there's some boys who can sound like little girls. <laughs> I think Derek Stephen Prince has played a girl before, I don't know. He has a, a high enough range. But, um, yeah, so we have characters from Naruto. And what we'll do is kind of simulate what it's like in the booth. So. You show up for the audition, get there like 15 minutes early so you have time to look over the script and make some choices about what you want to do. Because once you get in the booth and do that first take, you're inevitably going to do like a second take. Or maybe even a third take. The director wants to see how you respond to direction. Not just hear your performance and base it on that. They want to see, okay, all right. If I say, you know, pitch the voice up, do, do, you, do you do that and react accordingly? Or do you just give the same exact read a second time? It's like, okay, never mind. We're not getting anywhere with this. <laughs> and, I mean, you have some uh, directing experience too, right? Yes. And that, is, that, is that kind of a mindset that you go through as, as new, new people come into the booth? Well, I haven't like, a whole lot of it. I've just worked with some other people that have. But yeah, of course, and of course in the theater too. You want to see when you're auditioning people if they can take direction quickly so they can change and run with the character. We don't spend a lot of time on one thing. They quickly can make a decision and move forward. In the booth, we don't have a lot of time to do anything other than take the direction of the movie. We don't have hours to work out whatever right. issue you've got. So, yeah, absolutely. I've had directors actually tell me to do things that the character's never even going to do. Just yeah. to see if I can do it. Yeah. And have you ever had that? It's like, sure. it's like that character never does that in the show. But okay. Huh. Yeah. And it's just to see if you can take the direction and do it. I tried out for a video game once, and I gave my read on the character, given what the specs said. It's like, okay, he has this disposition and this, and he's very serious, but he speaks very enunciated like, and da, da, da. And then the director threw me a total curveball and goes, so you're from Louisiana, right? And I go, yeah. It's like, well, why don't you give him like a Cajun drawl? <laughs> and I'm reading the character and like, but this is an alien. <laughs> I didn't say that to him. I want the job. Don't ever go to the task with the director if you want to work. Because as an actor, you have to be able to take direction. It's not your call to, like, well, I'm going to do it this way. Like, well, then you're never going to work. That's just what it is. So, yeah, I, I felt weird. I gave it to him, and of course they didn't go that way. I still got the gig, though. They were just to get I think so. It's like, hey, bears, Blue Janna. It's like, yeah. Do you, have you ever seen any Cajun aliens? <laughs> all Cajuns were aliens. All Cajuns were aliens? Maybe that's what District 9 is about. Huh? <laughs> so, yeah, so basically, you're given this little piece of information here. The, the, the character's name, their age, a picture of them, a little bit about them, and then like five, six lines, maybe even less, um, showing a range of emotion. Right, the lines are random. They're not yeah. in succession with anything. They're just different levels, different tones throughout the show. Soft line and angry lines and reacts, things like that. Yeah, and you'll you'll simply read the line completely out of context, and then after that first take, the director may may already know what's going on in the episode. And they can fill you in. It's like, and once you know that, then you're like, oh, so the way I should say no is completely different than what I gave on the first read. Because there's a million different ways you can say 